Hi, my name is Melissa and I'm a teacher at Grace Art Camp. Today we are making our very own clay projects and we're going to use a design inspired by a mandala. A mandala is from the Sanskrit word meaning circle. They're found in different cultures and contain special or even spiritual symbols. There's so many beautiful mandalas all over the world. Mandala is a circular structure with a radial symmetry, which means that the design radiates out in a pattern from the center. While mandalas are beautiful art forms, you can find mandalas all around us in the natural world in flowers, in tree rings, in eyes, snowflakes, spiderwebs, seashells, seeds, fruits, succulents, and even more. To make our clay, we're going to need half a cup of cornstarch, plus some extra, four ounces or one container of glue, two tablespoons of oil. It could be olive oil, canola oil, coconut or vegetable oil, one tablespoon of lemon juice, wax paper or a non-stick surface, a mixing bowl and a spoon or a spatula to mix with. First, we're gonna combine the cornstarch, glue, oil, and lemon juice in a bowl and mix them together until there are no lumps. We're going for an icing-like consistency. Then we're going to put that in the microwave for 30 seconds. When that's done, you'll take it out, give it a little mix, and put it in again for another 30 seconds. Be careful when taking it out just in case the bowl is hot. Now we can mix it around again and we're going to mix and add cornstarch until we get a more dough-like consistency. We can lay cornstarch out on our non-stick surface, I'm using wax paper, and begin to take the mixture out of the bowl and knead it with our hands. This part will definitely get sticky. Keep adding some cornstarch as you knead until your mixture doesn't stick anymore. Now we have our clay. You can make whatever you want, but to make coasters, first I rolled the clay into a ball, then I used the bottom of a circular bowl to make shapes. I also used a knife to make a square shape. Just make sure to not roll out your structure too thin or else it'll crack. Once you have your clay shapes ready, I would suggest letting them dry overnight. Then we can begin to paint. Take a look at some of these great examples of mandala patterns. You can look at them for inspiration or make your own. I think Molly Boo really likes them. What do you think? Have fun!